as she said here. Well, uh, the experience of the, the Philips questions are kind of hard. They are kind of hard. I remember I bought it for a week. So it goes like, okay, tell me about the economic problems if I say. And I was like, Bitcoin. Because <laughs> 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 so like, you're sure? And I started meeting all the bush till I reached the point that like, okay, Bitcoin is pulling the finance industry because people are concentrating with all the uh, the Bitcoin and stuff that you know, when you look up the economy, I was just beating around the bush, I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> so that's like, okay, go to the next problem. <laughs> poverty? It's like, how come? So when you think of poverty, you see people don't have enough consumer for income. So there's no income, you come to the economic parts. When you come to the economic parts, the economy is not growing, the production is like, let's go to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this was the time I was like, okay, I'm really messed up. And and uh, the other part that I really enjoyed is uh, his question about if you're an object, what would you be? What, is, what are you? Uh, it just came to mind and uh, I answered it that I'd love to be a bounty. And how That's the best part. <laughs> if you're a mountain, you can see things at a higher perspective, you see, at a wider view. That's, that's okay. like, Jacqueline, um, the brew your brand, what was your most interesting aspect of it? Or what did you like the most, or what was the most challenging? Whatever comes to your mind, who you brand? Well, I felt most comfortable with it because I studied marketing. So when we were dividing our teams, I volunteered to be in the marketing part, then to uh, the I was with oh, you the designing part. Yeah. yeah. So I was able to uh, put on the table what I actually learned and what I actually knew. So I would go to guide my fellows who were most comfortable. <laughs> so, the Nanda was told that you have to go to the power offices. Where are they? Victoria, Thunderlink Park, 9th floor. I know Thunderlink Park. Ninth floor was like, okay, this is different. And when I got here, the first day, I was like, is this a recruitment agency or is it an art gallery? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it doesn't look like the way I imagined it to be. It's way beyond my imagination. So in my people stuff behind miles. Oh uh, yeah, something really shoes. boring and lame. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, I got here and the people that I met here, everyone, every one of them was actually reminding me that your imaginations were way out of this. We are much higher than those. You know? Here everyone that I met challenged me that the view that you had about the power, about the city, about the country is different. People here are serious. People have made a huge step towards excellence and, you know, inspiring people. Every time, it's like every time I get in here, I see a different world. You, you, sometimes I feel, is this really possible in this kind of economy, this kind of environment? Because when I, love, when I leave here and go back to my normal life, it's like, I'm in two different worlds. Right here, people are serious, people are looking forward, people are doing huge stuff. Out there, it's, you don't expect such kind of things. So, Empower to me, it elevated my imaginations about the people in the country. And it really, I can say, empowered me. Mm. <laughs> I'm giving you a pulpit. No, no. Yeah, that's all. That's all. The first time I heard about Saint Power, I remember I was. It wasn't that way back. It was like in December, January. Mm. 
heard it from a colleague of mine. She told me that there is this recruitment agency that is upcoming. Mm -hmm. The Empower, I thought is as Nick has just uh, explained a bit earlier. That uh, I also had the, like the same expression about it. That uh, it's, it's this uh, small recruitment agency and all. But the first time that uh, I remember, even when I was applying this job, I didn't expect that such environment. But the, the first time that I entered here back then in February. I really love the energy, the people, I can say, the, the energy, it was out of this world, I can say. I didn't expect that uh, to, to experience such a professionalism that, was, that is in here at the Empire. And uh, I'm looking forward, honestly, for this great, great opportunity that uh, through Empire I've been able to achieve. And uh, I believe I will leave a mark on My imaginations about interviews were like some intimidating questions. But it was very comfortable, it was fun. They made me feel comfortable with myself and my experiences and the enough skills that I had. And they even uh, helped me to how to, uh, to answer some questions, you know. Uh, they highlighted some areas that I could improve, you know, next time. Even if you don't, you don't, you don't make it through the first interviews, but, you know, next time if you do get an interview, this is how you should apply. This is how you should have, you know, this is a better way you could have answered some of the questions. So it had made me more comfortable with interviews and comfortable with myself, I could say, uh, boosted my confidence. And it's just, whenever I think of empire, I just think of energy, just fun and friendly people, just love it. Um, Zainab, you're up next. Hello, Zainab. Same question. Oh, my first encounter or? How have the past been? Well, I do not have a very long journey with uh, Power. This was my first encounter, and I don't know. I say this is like a mind fill because I didn't know about it first. But when I came to know about it, and I went through your social media pages, and I was like, you, a person is looking for connections for jobs everywhere, and here they are listed. I mean, they're they're bringing you closer to to uh, whatever you want to be, like accountant, whatever it is. So. How it supported me, I would think of one area. I had a hard time applying this this um, uh, this job, the training program, because I was in school, I had exams, and so every time I actually encountered with an empower workers, and I asked them about what I could do, they didn't answer you like just the job, like. No, do this, do that, or maybe I don't know. They answered you like they were in your shoes. Like, you, when do you have the exam? Can you make it? Are you comfortable? Is this not forcing you? They made you feel comfortable about it, and I felt nice because I was so anxious. I sat there that training day, and I was like, "This is it. I'm missing this interview. I have an exam tomorrow, and I'm not gonna be here." And I follow. I, I don't know the name, but she said. Relax, there are so many of these. And if this is your first time, you can get other ones and other ones. If you cannot make it tomorrow, we can actually see you even 10 times more apart from tomorrow. And that actually made me feel comfortable because I knew there's a place where I can actually find something I want to do if I don't make it this time. Mm -hmm. But in the end, the next day, I made it. Um, okay. Empower made me more open minded. I didn't really apply for most of the jobs that I was called for. Like they kept on giving, giving me interviews with jobs I hadn't even applied for. They just said, can you come in for this job? And I was like, what? This isn't really my like field, so why should I let go for these job interviews? And I actually kept on getting rejected. So at first I felt like you guys were setting me up for failure. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I didn't even put myself in that position. But then I saw it helped me learn more. Like going through those interviews and just you get become comfortable. You learn that interviews are like conversations with people basically. It's just a conversation. So it made me more open minded. Yeah. And it made me just comfortable. Mm. Uh, it was very motivating to be here. They've all supported from their hearts, my colleagues. It's the truth. When we came here, we saw things that are very different. We're in another world. And Whenever I came here, I went back home with something. 
I'm sure when you go to other interviews, you go back home with a lot of depression and stress because it all, you know, you were getting a lot of punches and you couldn't get one lucky punch. So with Empire, when you come here, you go back home with something. And another quite uh, amazing experience is I had fun doing all of these things. At some point, I forgot that I was an interview. Until when they say, okay guys, now we're going to filter people. We're going to filter people. So yeah, that, that was going on. I forgot that we were in the interview. And I like that. Because that's all competent things, you know. You don't come here and sit down and tell me what you know. Hey, I want to follow you for this and that. It was, all, it was all general knowledge and eye opening. What's being done here is way totally different than it's way above what's been done out there. So it's like you you guys are setting up the stage too high for us. Mm -hmm. And I, I tell you, when any of these people, when you go out there and you get an interview by some other people, there will come that moment you ask yourself like, I've been to I've been to interviews, I've been to assessments. I don't know what this is we're doing. Like they have rehearsed questions, tell me about yourself, what's the next bag, what are your expectations, some some questions. Then you come here, someone is like, how do you approach a jigsaw puzzle? Yeah, I mean, it's a way, but when I was still here, so like, it's really nice. Another thing is that whatever you'll be applying for, when you get it, there'll be a a training, something that they will train you towards the company or the work or something. So we don't expect you that what you learn in school automatically you will get that directly from our company. No. We'll train you how we do things here. So I don't understand why people ask intellectual I mean, academic questions during interviews. You ask when someone like and if this happens, what this I will, what does this do or what whatever. Like exam questions you use to getting at school. During interviews, it should be about knowing the person. What are your attributes? What so? What's what are your strengths? Strengths, weaknesses? Who who you are? You know, that's more important than asking questions that someone can Google up in a few seconds. I'm looking forward to finding myself in the company. Mm. I like that you get to work in different departments. So yeah. it, it kind of like help me know what to study in the future. Mm -hmm. So I want to see how marketing and sales, mm -hmm. and human resources and all that is. Just so that I can find a way I want to be in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm actually looking forward to new opportunities, new challenges. I face enough challenges, but I want to face new challenges. I've been dealing with numbers and likes, so I want to know how am I going to do, how am I going to fare in market, how am I going to fare maybe processing, maybe not be very much in the future. <laughs> Just a <laughs> short while, I must be able to make beer from scratch. So I want to know the challenges, the opportunities that come across. Those are my expectations, probably. What about you, Ali? I'll go with growth. Mm -hmm. I'm entering. <laughs> that was your point, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm entering into a new world, so I'm really looking forward into growing. I have to learn new things every day and, you know, I have to provide, I have to deliver. So I'm looking up to that. I have to learn the best that I can and see how the working world really is. So I'll pass this on to Eva. <laughs> What I'm looking forward to is learning something new. I'm actually a mining engineer. I never thought I would learn to make beer. So now I want to learn something new. And maybe I'll be brewing beer at my home. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> Who's next? David. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm searching or I'm looking for, actually I'm expecting to for a new experience new endeavor in my career-wise. Actually, I'm looking for growth, not only career-wise, but uh, mentally, new challenges and all. I believe uh, with this great opportunity, I'll be able to prove myself 
throw myself out there and deliver and leave, and leave a mark out there. Mm. Yeah. Y'all are all liars. You're there for beer. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Once in a while, yes. Can someone just say the truth? <laughs> oh, the truth. Yeah. 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 It's always there. So, actually, putting a meaning to what I've learned is what I've been actually wanting to do a lot. So, seeing something, seeing actually beer coming from uh, this, this uh, sugar, I don't know, malt, grains. everything, grains, and then at the end of the day, you just hold a bottle, something that I don't know. That's that's satisfaction. That's that satisfaction. And it's, you're like, wow. <laughs> So that I'm, I'm just looking for something meaningful to those the old theories that I've learned. Innovative. Mm. Inspirational. Professional. Mind blowing. Resilient. Rewarding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Fun. <laughs> <laughs>